doesn't like tell me how much to say, but I wanted to ask. Mm. What's the difference between pure math and math lit, and why does the minority of universities consider pure, like math lit? Okay. Uh, you find. Can you get another one? Oh, okay. Second question. Why is it lit? Anyone? Anyone who wants to ask a question? Okay. Okay, so this is the thing. Okay, so, uh, first of all, in all around the world, South Africa is the only one that gives two types of maths, eh? Because in this world, there's only maths. Maths literacy is some animation that is really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so. The idea that they had initially when they were creating math literacy was that you, they wanted to have it sort of like applied math where you, uh, you do real life problems in class, you know? But the problem now is that they dumped it down to such an extent where you were doing basic mathematics which wasn't exhaustive. Uh, and the stuff that you covered in math lit is so few that you can't take an engineering course you can't take medicine, you can't do a BSc. So in the end, uh, you are only restricted to the humanities. So math literacy is, uh, is a dumbed down version of applied math. So, uh, but now, the advantage of math literacy is that when you're doing it, you're actually seeing where you're, you're applying it in life, right? If I ask those people who did pure maths, 90% of the things they did, they have no clue where they use it in life. So I hope, I mean, I've spoken to Minister Angie about this, right? Where we say, if you can take best things and maths and put them together such that you don't compromise on content, but at the same time, people know where they're using that in life. Because I'm telling you, if you ask me equations, why do we do them? And I have no idea. Then what's the point of me learning them, you know? I need to know where, where I'm going to use it in my life, right? Exactly. So that's the difference between math and math lit. Yes. Thank you.